Today we will discuss about shielding effect and effective nuclear charge. But before start discussion, kindly subscribe the channel and press the bell button for more videos. Shielding effect and effective nuclear charge, both the phenomena suggest that how positive and negative charges coexist in an atom. So what is shielding effect? The decrease in attractive force exerted by the nucleus on the valence shell electrons due to the presence of electrons lying between the nucleus and the valence shell is called shielding effect. In order to understand the shielding effect, we must consider the general diagram of an atom. As you know that there are two types of forces in an atom. One is positive force and this positive force is due to the presence of protons in the nucleus. The other force is negative force which is due to the presence of electrons. Electrons orbiting the nucleus in particular pathways called energy levels or shells. Protons which are present in the nucleus, they exert a force of attraction for each electron those are orbiting the nucleus. So in this way, nucleus exerts a force on all the electrons revolving around the nucleus. At the same time, there is another force of repulsion. This force is present between the electrons. You know that electrons are negatively charged and due to the same type of charge they repel each other. So electrons which are present between the valence electron and the nucleus these are called inner electrons or core electrons. These inner electrons create a shield or hindrance between the nucleus and the valence electron. So the phenomena which results is called shielding effect. Let's see what is the relation between shielding effect and effective nuclear charge. Valence electrons experience less nuclear charge than that of the actual charge which is called effective nuclear charge. Reasons behind this phenomena is that the electrons present between the nucleus and the outermost shell of an atom reduce the nuclear charge felt by the valence electrons. Inner electrons screen or shield the force of attraction of protons felt by the outer electrons. You can understand this phenomena by comparing this whole diagram with the classroom. Consider nucleus as a teacher in the classroom and inner electrons are those students which are sitting near to the teacher. And valence electrons are those students which are sitting furthest from the teacher or these are the backbenchers. You know that students who sit near to the teacher they are under much influence of the teacher as compared to those students which are backbenchers. So these students which are actually inner electrons, they screen the influence or effect of the teacher which is nucleus towards the backbenchers students which are valence electrons. So let's take an example from first group and second period. Lithium is the first element of second period. It has two electron shell. Moreover, it has three protons in its nucleus as its atomic number is three. It has two core electrons 
and one valence electron. Each proton exert a force of attraction for each electron. Core electrons have a repulsive force on valence electron as both have negative charge. Remember that not only a single electron apply a repulsive force, rather than all the electrons which are present between the nucleus and the outer electrons, they create a shield altogether. This is the reason that positive force of attraction is being cancelled by repelling force of two core electrons. So valence electron experience net force of only one proton. As it is clear that there are two inner electrons and one is outer electron. So the total number of protons which are present in the nucleus are three. These three protons attract the inner electrons as well as the valence electron. But these two inner electrons create a shield or screen the force of attraction exerted by protons towards the outer electron. So this electron experience less force of the nucleus due to shield created by electronic cloud of these core electrons. You can find out the effective nuclear charge for any electron revolving around the nucleus. Let's suppose you have to calculate the actual attraction that valence electron experience for positive charge. The attraction for the nucleus that valence electron experience is called effective nuclear charge. And effective nuclear charge for any electron can be calculated by this formula. You can see that effective nuclear charge is equal to Z minus S. Whereas Z is the atomic number and S is the number of inner electron. So in the case of lithium, atomic number is 3 and number of inner electrons, these are 2. So in order to find nuclear charge that is experienced by the electron in valence shell, this one electron. So you have to find the charge that is felt by this one electron. So do a calculation. By this formula you can apply the calculation. So nuclear charge experienced by electron in valence shell is equal to Z minus S. So what is the atomic number of lithium? This is 3. Put the value of atomic number 3 and minus the subtract the inner electron or core electron you can observe that there are two inner electron so these two core electrons will be subtracted from the atomic number so let's see what we will get we get plus one it means that net charge experienced by electron in valence shell of lithium is equal to plus one so this will be very helpful when you will learn this topic.